Hey guys, this is Jim K and 4YCD and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Today we're going to take a look at the T-Way RDIO MagLoop HT antenna. So I got this off of Amazon and this was about $25, a little less I think. Um, and this is what it looks like. Now mine is a female SMA, so I'm probably going to have to use adapters. Um, I haven't put this on an HT yet. We're going to hook it up on the spectrum analyzer and take a look and see what it looks like on there. Um, there's not much to it. It feels fairly solid. Um, the model number is right there. And this says on the package, as you can see, max power 20 watts, 50 ohms impedance, SWR less than 1.5 and supposedly 1.8 gain on two meters and 2.8 on 430, 440. And of course it's two meter 440. Um, it's interesting that it says 430 instead of 440. And of course the, the connector type, which I mentioned is female. And this is from the Quanzhou Truist Communication Lim Company Limited made in China. So, we are going to take this little guy and um, and hook him up to the spectrum analyzer, which is the truth detector, and see what this thing looks like. Stick around. Okay, so what I've got set up here is the spectrum analyzer like I was talking about, and this is our VSWR bridge. It's plugged into the tracking generator, which puts out a signal through our device under test and then over to the input on the tracking generator. Now, I have to use some adapters to get this down to SMA size, like the antenna. So what we're going to do is we're going to zero those out when we do the test. So I'm going to tell this guy, turn on the tracking generator. I'm going to go to measure. I'm going to enable VSWR bridge. And then he's telling me that we need to uh, do the calibration. So I'm going to say measuring setup, calibrate open. And now we can put our device on, which is this uh, antenna. I'm going to pop the adapter off to screw this guy on. And then we'll fasten him back on. So now he's on. All right, and I'm going to scoot the camera back a little bit and zoom you in on the spectrum analyzer a little bit more. And then we're going to take a look at our SWR on this thing. So now that we've got our calibration done, we can look at SWR. Now I've got this guy set right now for the 440 70 centimeter band. And you can see on the marker, the marker is set at 445 megahertz and we're getting an SWR of about 4.7, 4.8. And you'll notice, let me turn the marker off or actually move the other stuff out of the way. There's the marker, and you can see we're pretty flat across the band, but 4.5, I saw this jump up to 5 a second ago. So it's, it's not a great 70 centimeter antenna, which I didn't think it was. So let me make some changes, recalibrate, and jump this down to 2 meters, and let's take a look at that. Okay, so now um, I've jumped it over to 2 meters, and we're going to recalibrate this thing. So let me do that real quick. Should have done that while I had the camera off. Setup, open calibration, VSWR. Let's put our antenna back on. And now we're calibrated for two meters on this guy. Let's put him on there real quick and see what we got. So there we go. At 136 megahertz is our best SWR. Um, the yellow line is our SWR curve. The green line is our return loss. And you can see we're about 2.7, 2.8 over here um, at 137 megahertz, which ain't the two meter band. So that's, uh, that's no bueno. And if I scoot this up to like, let's say 145, 144, our SWR has gone up to eight. So while that looks juicy, we don't transmit in the 136 megahertz band. I think that's uh, I think that's airband maybe or something. I'm not entirely sure. 
what's it, 136. But the marker is now at 144. And you can see down here, our SWR is over eight. So that's absolutely terrible. So this antenna, while it looks really cool, appears to be um, a hunk of junk. So I absolutely would not recommend it. Okay, here I've jumped into um, the Antscope software. This is used with Rig Experts. And we're going to connect up to our analyzer here. This is uh, my AA1400. And let's take a quick look at what this antenna looks like on 70 centimeters and 2 meters. So right now we're in the 70 centimeter band. And let's run a sweep. And you can see that we are above four. It's like 4.2. We've now eased below four. And we're at 3.7, 3.8, and probably about 3.6, somewhere in there. But not below three, certainly, because here's the three line right here, y'all. And we're up well over 3.5. So that's 70 centimeters. So let's zoom that guy out and zoom in and take a look at our two meter band in a big old screen. There we go. Let's sweep her. <clears throat> and you see it starts out somewhat respectable um, at the low end of the two meter band, but it, it's like 2.2 .2 and then by the time we're at 144.8, we're, we're pushing an SWR3 um, and higher, and it never comes back down. So that's the data out of Rig Expert. Guys, that's all I've got for today. Y'all have a good one. 73s.